Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about kurtosis. I'm going to show how to estimate kurtosis in SPSS, as well as the standard error of kurtosis, uh, which allows us to do some statistical significance testing of the kurtosis uh, value. And then I'm going to show the distributions uh, and how they look, uh, and I'm going to use one comparison in a with a variable to show that sometimes you can be fooled by getting statistically significant kurtosis when really you don't have a problem with kurtosis. So let's get started. I'm going to analyze this first variable called V1. So I'm going to estimate kurtosis, and I'm going to test it for significance, and I'm also going to look at the distribution. So go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, put V1 into Variables list, click on Statistics, then click on Kurtosis over here, and then click Continue. That's all you need to do. Now I also want to look at the chart, the histogram in sp specifically, and I'm going to click Continue. And I'm going to unclick display frequency tables because I don't actually want to see my raw data in a table uh, that's a frequency table. I'm going to click OK. Alright, so SPSS produces the results. Uh, it's a sample size of a thousand people. It says there are missing observations only because there's more observations in the second variable I'm going to look at. But here's the kurtosis value here, 80.924. That's a huge value. Uh, and the standard error of kurtosis is 1, 0.155. Now to determine statistical significance of kurtosis, you need to divide the kurtosis value by the standard error of kurtosis. And any value larger than 1.96 uh, or negative 1.96 uh, is going to be statistically significant. So it's using the Z table to determine statistical significance. All right, so get your calculator and input 80.924 divided by 0.155. And we get a whopping 522.09. So that's a definite statistical significant kurtosis value. Uh, so it's a Z equal 522.09 and P less than 0 0.05 because 522.09 is larger than the 1.96 uh, which is uh, the demarcation criterion for statistical significance. Let's look at the distribution. It's enormously. <laughs> that's very uh, leptokurtic. See how the distribution is extremely, free. there's a lot of observations in the middle, and the tail, there's a whole chunk of the distribution that's missing here. If it were normally distributed, there'd be observations over here. So this is an extremely, extremely uh, 